Yo, what's up, people? How's it going? We're back for another episode of the Let's Play. Last time, we chased an awkward grunt into that one cave that I can't remember the name of. Rusturf. Yeah, Rusturf Tunnel. Uh, we caught ourselves a new team member. That being the amazing boombox. A whisper. Uh, pretty weak right now. I might do some grinding off screen. Uh, for the next episode, so, but, uh, for now, we're just gonna be switch training it, and, uh, we got a letter, we got two tasks, actually, we gotta go to Slateport City to drop off some parts, uh, to one of the, uh, the captains there, uh, but on the way, we're gonna stop by Duford and drop off a letter to Stephen Stone, Mr. Stone's son. So, uh, yeah, let's just go on. Here's May. Why, Joey? You had a match call feature put on your Pokemon. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. So we got May in our Pokenav. So yeah, we gotta head back to Petalburg. But, uh, before we do that, she wants to battle. Let's do it. We can put our new team member to the test here. Lotad. Lotad's pretty... Pretty weak. I actually wonder what uh what boombox can do against it. Pound is 40 base power. How much base power is up for? I actually don't remember. Fifty. Yeah. So you get locked into it. Um and you can't you can't uh, switch moves. So, we'll just use that. See how much damage this does. Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty bad idea. Yeah, this was, a, this was a very bad idea. This was a horrible idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're off to a good start here. If only we had an overpowered Grovile on our team. Oh wait! We do. There we go. I don't have to rely on Grovile here, it's getting really overleveled. But, we're gonna catch another, another team member here pretty soon. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, it's so... Badass. One of the most powerful trainers in the game uses this Pokemon. Uh, there's your there's your hint. And actually, that reminds me, we got to get a question of the day going. Uh, my brother asked me the other day. He said, uh, you know, what's your favorite, what's your favorite game? Uh, and then he's like, well, he didn't say what's your favorite game. He was just like, if you could experience one game for the first time again, like it's like a fresh playthrough. Uh, what would that game be for you? Um, so I want to know you, for you guys, if you could experience one game for the first time, if you, if you could like know nothing about that game, and uh, play it for the first time again, what game would that be? Uh, I'm going with Earthbound. I want to, uh, I want to re-experience that story, beautiful, deep story, and um, I want to hear the music for the first time again. Like that's what that's what Earthbound really did for me was that just amazing soundtrack. Uh, but we beat May pretty easily there, and I'm just gonna go heal up, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're basically done here in Rustboro City. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just head out. May's gonna stay over there. And uh, we actually have cut now, so there were some things before. Oh, that's right, we didn't battle these people because we only had one Pokemon. Well, I guess we're gonna battle these people first. So this is a double battle. You guys know what double battles are, but... You know, um, they got some pretty threatening Pokemon here, so let's see what we can take on. Um, just target, double target the C dot. I did not expect that to one shot. Definitely did not. <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. I just got off work. That's probably why. I'm a little tired, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm in. A, I'm in the mood to record. So. 
recording after work. It was a good day today. Hung out with some some good co-workers and just had had a good time. That was that was pretty simple battle too. But now we have cut, so we can get some of these items here. Um, because we got this really like tiny tree that you could probably like step over, but uh, you know, that actually doesn't make any sense at all, right? So we gotta we gotta cut it down. We gotta cut down the little bush. I wonder if it's in this game. Actually, I'm gonna try this real quick. Yo, you can do it in this game too. You, yeah, you can actually cut the wild grass. Um, so there you go. There's like a cool little fun fact. So if you don't want to like waste your time getting some random encounters, you can just cut the wild grass. Or alternatively, you could uh, spray repels, which probably is a lot more time time saving. So this girl here, you want if you chose Trico, even if you didn't choose Trico, even if you just have grass type in general, you want to talk to this girl. Oh neat, that's the badge from Rustboro City. You must be a trainer, you should try using this item. She'll give you the Miracle Seed. This just boosts the uh, the attack power of all grass type moves. Um, by, oh, is it one, is it one point, you don't use it, you uh, give it. I don't remember if it's 1.3 times or if it's like 1.5. I think it's 1.3. I wanna say it's 1.3, but maybe it's 1.5. I actually don't remember. Um, a random encounter here. I actually like random encounters because it's like, what if I got a shiny Pokemon? That'd be so. That'd be so dope. Yeah. So, uh, I tried this pizza the other day. It was a uh, oh, great ball. Uh, yeah, I tried this pizza the other day from Pizza Hut. It's uh, popcorn chicken pizza. They're doing like a collaboration with KFC. Um, and it was fucking, it sounded so good. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna order that. That sounds amazing. It actually was like pretty bad. Uh, and disappointing. Honestly, it was really disappointing. Like, so it, it basically, it has popcorn chicken on it, obviously. It has corn on it. It has, so popcorn chicken and corn are the toppings. It has cheese, obviously. And then, it just uh, hidden uh, tiny mushroom there, by the way. Um, and then it has gravy for the sauce, and I'm like, oh, dude, gravy, KFC gravy hits so different. And I'm thinking this is gonna be fucking amazing. Gravy for the sauce. So the pizza shows up, and you know I pay. I'm so excited, and I open up the box. Oh, it smells so good. It smells grand. It smells grand even, and. Uh, I bite into it, and there was a, there was a disturbing lack of gravy in my mouth. I'm just thinking, oh, okay, it was just like the tip of the pizza. And as I'm eating more and more, there's no gravy on it. There was like they literally like took a took a tiny like a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, sorry, like a teaspoon of gravy, and spread it over the whole slice. It, I felt I felt ripped off. And Pizza Hut already kind of like makes me feel ripped off because it's like the stuffed crust. Like I thought stuffed crust was like a great idea, and then I bought it, and it's like you can't call it stuffed crust if it's uh, you know if it's not stuffed. It's only half full. What the fuck is that bullshit? It's not stuffed crust. It's half full crust. If you advertise it like that, I wouldn't be upset about it, right? It's half full crust. It's not stuffed crust. So. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna talk to Mr. Briny here. Uh, go for, to go to Duford Island, Duford Town, and uh, we're off. We're off, bro. So, yeah, pretty cool boat. The boat is actually about the same size as us, which is cool. Also, when you get phone calls on boats, uh, it immediately stops in the water, and it's our dad. Sounds windy wherever you are. So yeah, let me know if you guys have had any like Pizza Hut or anything like that. What, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite, uh, pizza place? Or do you make your pizza homemade? We made a homemade pizza the other day, me and my girlfriend. And that was, uh, that was so good. That was super good. Uh, but for me, like, favorite pizza place is probably, uh, <laughs> Pizza Hut, even though I just talk so much shit. I actually really like Pizza Hut. I like their crust. Uh, their regular crust. Their stuffed crust is fucking rancid. 
So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe what your favorite pizza place is. Uh, but here we are in the beautiful Duford Island. And uh, there's Pokemon Center here. And yes, there's a gym. And actually, you can skip the gym. You don't even have to do the gym, but we're going to do the gym. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty difficult because I have a grass type, an overpowered grass type that I really don't want to use, but I'm probably going to have to. And I also have a normal type, a very underleveled normal, normal type. This is a fighting type gym. So, yeah. After we get, I don't remember if it's five or six gym badges, we'll be coming back to this house. We're going to get a pretty nice move from this place. And uh, one of my Pokemon that I plan on catching later. One that I think is super underrated. Uh, we'll actually utilize that move very well. And I have a, I have a feeling that this Pokemon, you, like you guys, are gonna get a new appreciation for this Pokemon, because I think it's it's horribly for forgotten, and I love it. I personally love the thing. So I'm a, I'm gonna shed some light on that Pokemon. One of my favorites. It's a Poison type. Yeah, I'm so excited uh, for my team. I got I got three Pokemon planned for the team. One of them we'll be catching here very soon, and uh, I'm I'm just super excited because uh, I think they're interesting Pokemon. Some of them are like definitely popular picks. And look at that, we just gained two levels. We learned a ass move, but we just gained two whole levels, man. Um, but like. Two of the Pokemon that I planned are like pretty popular Pokemon. I'd say one of them is maybe even the most popular of all time. Not the most, sorry, but like one of the most. Um, the other one, definitely a little overused, but I think it'll fit well on the team. I need something that's like super tanky. So I'm going to get that thing because it's pretty damn tanky. And because uh, we got the speed, Sceptile. I always like to have a Pokemon that can learn fly, and then I need something that's tanky, and then the second Pokemon out of those three that I have planned is also a decent mix of, of tanky and offense. So definitely very excited for that, uh, and put down in the comments if you got any suggestions, any Pokemon that you'd like to see, because I got, I got five planned, I don't know about my fourth one. Or not my fourth one, Jesus, my uh, sixth and final Pokemon. Because uh, yeah, including Groval and Boombox here, I mean, I'm I'm sort of almost got a full team plan. I've got yeah, I've got like a full team plan here, except for the last Pokemon. And I think I think I know what I want it to be, but just put down in the comments below what you want, uh, what 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 you want to see. Yeah. Just comment on this video. Just do it. Just fucking do it, guys. <laughs> like, that's all, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, just do it. You know you want to. Just like this video, guys. You know you want to. Just subscribe this channel. You know you want to. Or something like that. So yeah, look at that. More good experience here. This thing's definitely getting some levels now. It's honestly not that bad of a Pokemon. It's it's not great by any means, but I think all Pokemon in their own ways are, are fantastic except for Love Disk. So, you know. Give him a shot. Even Love Disk isn't that bad. That was just like a the first shitty Pokemon that came to my mind. Like you, even Magikarp here I'd, I'd use because at least it evolves into Gyarados. Pretty simple, pretty simple battle. So let's, uh... Yeah, so, we register this dude to our Pokenav. And, uh, we can't go this way. Is there anything on this rock? Yeah, Stardust. Uh, you can sell that. For good money. So, uh, let's head into this cave here. Ooh. Scary music. It's awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but, well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. So that's the move 
flash and it illuminates the dark areas, but you need the second June badge in order to use it. So fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna go through here without even needing it. And uh I'll show you guys it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I'll cut out if it you get if it gets like too hard though, but it's not that hard, you know. But if it gets that hard then I might I might cut it out. But it's not that hard, so I don't have to cut it out. Um, and actually, I'm gonna be catching a new Pokemon here. So yeah, this is what I mean. It's just like it's pitch black down here. So you gotta, you know, you feel the walls. So we gotta go up this way. And uh, it's not that hard to get through here. Just keep following it up, except not there. And yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad to get through here. Do you want to go down over here? And here, yeah, down there. And, uh, you know, not that bad. We're not running into any encounters, though. Okay, let's see if this is it. Hey, what do you know? First try. So, yeah, I'm going to be adding this thing to my team, Aaron. For those of you that know what this evolves into, you know, you might be a little excited. Uh, as am I. This thing is a beast. This thing's a beast, man. Uh, I just, I love it. I got a perfect nickname for it too. I don't know if it's been used before. Actually, you know what? I think it might have been used. I think Maryland used the nick. No, it wasn't Maryland. It was uh, what's his name? Purple Rodri. Purple Rodri. Sorry. He used the uh, he used the nickname uh, uh, Got Goat. How do you pronounce it? From uh, from Majora's Mask, the Snowhead Temple boss. Is it Goat or is it Got? Either way, that's what we're nicknaming it. I'm gonna call it Goat. Because it reminds me of that thing. And I think I think Purple Rodri used that nickname, but... I... Don't give a fuck. That's all I'm gonna say, I don't give a fuck, yo. Let's toss a Pokemon ball at it. Just like that. Caught it. So we got ourselves our third member of our team here. Look at that. Oh man, I love this thing. So cool. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it, we're gonna name it Goat. Pretty cool. I like that. And uh, we're just gonna continue making our way here. So I'll see you guys when I. Or do you guys want to see this? I don't know. I'll cut out random encounters. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll cut out all random encounters, but just to show you guys that you can get through here without using flash I'll just keep it going and if you're playing along with me, then you know you can kind of take the same area that I'm going through Okay, that last battle I was in I actually ran into a Pokemon called uh, Sableye and I don't know if you guys uh, Know that Pokemon but Sableye is actually uh, pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's pretty weak uh, But in this generation there was no fairy type yet and Sableye is a ghost and dark type, and that type combination actually made it, so it had no weaknesses. Um, which is awesome. Man, the encounters here. Jeez. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's so cool, right? Now that there's fairy type, though, uh, ghost and dark is no longer uh, a type with no weaknesses. It is unfortunately weak to fairy. However, there is still a Pokemon. Um, that is not weak to any moves, and that's, uh, Elec Electros. Uh, yeah, e Electros. It's electric type, which has one weakness, ground, but Electros has the levitate ability. So yeah, there's your fun fact for the day. And we found Steven. See, it's not that hard. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. We hand over the letter. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. It's an alright move. Uh, I think it... 60 base power, Steel type move. Has a chance to raise your defense. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. So there we go, we're just getting tons of numbers today. All from dudes, so, you know, 
You can't be picky, you know, a hole's a hole. Anyways. Uh, yeah, let's check, uh, Steel Wing. 70 base power, my bad. And 90 accuracy. I'm not a big fan of this move. Steven, you don't have the greatest taste in moves. But we're just gonna use an escape rope and get out of here. If you use an escape rope in a cave, it'll bring you right to the entrance. Or any sort of dungeon. So yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty, that was all around pretty good. I think, uh, I'm happy with, uh, how that went, so. Healing up here. And, uh, you know, I think we we're gonna end off, uh, on a good note here. We got a new team member. We landed here in Duford. And, uh, join me next time when we're gonna take on, we're gonna take on the gym. So yeah, have a good one, people. Peace out.